What's Opening this week brought to you by our friends at AMC Theaters. Now, we've got a couple films we're going to talk about on Thursday, which is uh, Hotel Transylvania 2 and Green Inferno. But the first one we're going to talk about today is the new Robert De Niro uh, and Hathaway film, The Intern. So Ashley, tell us about it. Starting a new job can be a difficult challenge, especially if you're already retired. Looking to get back into the game, 70-year-old widower Ben Whitaker, played by Robert De Niro, seizes the opportunity to become a senior intern at an online fashion site. Ben quickly becomes popular with his younger co-workers, including Jules Austin, played by Anne Hathaway, the boss and founder of the company. Whitaker's charm, wisdom, and sense of humor help him develop a special bond and growing friendship with Jules. Schnepp, are you looking forward to The Intern? I am. I'm, I'm really looking forward to The Intern. I think uh, Robert De Niro and uh, Anne Hathaway, just from the trailers, it seems like, uh, what was that one, like Google Interns or whatever? The, yeah, the, the Intern. It's just called The Internship or something. <laughs> That's a movie I didn't want to see with the word intern in it. And this is a movie I do want to see with the word intern in it. And it's because of Robert De Niro and Anne Hathaway and, and their chemistry and the way that it would seem like, it, you know, you, you see that a lot in uh, fast food restaurants where they have senior hour, like in the mornings or, you know, the whole bunch of seniors are working at a restaurant because they're like, hey, we, you know, it's high school students or seniors. That's what we can rock. It's like, now as we move on and like there's seniors who want to stay active and I think this is going to broach that subject where seniors are not you know invalid because they're older seniors are very val valid because they are older because of their experiences their life experiences and what they could bring to the table on any job that they're going to try to you know you know put some wisdom down so that's what I think this movie is going to be about and it feels like that from seeing the trailers and then you have Robert De Niro like he's hit and miss sometimes like seems like he's just been collecting checks on a lot of movies recently but this movie definitely is using that you know that De Niroism that the stuff that we like about Robert De Niro and I feel like that's going to come through in the film so you know I, I buy it 100%. I'm actually really surprised how much I'm looking forward to this movie it's like I buy this completely and, and I'm really looking forward to the film very very much I'm kind of sad that I haven't seen it already but every trailer for me has hit it I mean it just really has it's been charming and funny and not only does you know our leads look really good and I think they're gonna have great on-screen yeah. chemistry together the supporting cast has looked really good in these trailers that scene where Rene Russo plays like the office masseuse mm -hmm. and they, they got a they put a towel over <laughs> that's it's a great scene and I just think there's a lot of charm and you're right I one of the things that I'm looking forward to is what you were mentioning. I think they're gonna talk about ageism. Look, ageism is actually an issue we do not talk about nearly enough. It's like, you're right. We have this mentality that you know once somebody gets over you know 58 or something, they just lose their value. And it's like, no, absolutely not. And I, I'm hoping that this movie's gonna explore that a little bit. So I'm super stoked to see it. Mark, what about you? Uh, is Emily Blunt in this movie? <laughs> Sell. <laughs> no, I, I do wanna see uh, The Intern uh, very much. So I'm looking forward to talking about this for at least an hour on the phone with my mom after she sees it. Because this is definitely a mom opening weekend movie. Nancy Myers is the right person to handle material like this. Because Shep, you, you, you nailed it. It's like you could have Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson and boy, are they gonna have some shenanigans. They're too to be interns. This looks like it's earnest. It's down to earth. It does take a premise that could be seen as wacky, but it feels real. It doesn't feel like they're forcing this zany comedic premise on you. It feels like, I, I get it, this guy, I think he lost his wife and he's just, he's looking for something to do. He, he doesn't want to just be retired. He wants to keep contributing. And so when he gets into this modern workplace, there's going to be some odd situations, but it's not just for comedic value. It's also to get you right here a little bit. And I like movies like that. You are mentioning that De Niro can be a little bit hit and miss. And, you know, sometimes in comedies, when De Niro tries to be a comedic actor, like he did in, um, oh, what's the one he did with B Billy Crystal? And analyze the, this. Yeah, analyze, analyze that. that. Right. When he, like, analyze that, which was a terrible sequel. Just so, When you see Robert De Niro trying to do comedy right now, it kind of fails. But where I find he really works is when he just as an actor just goes into the role and just lets the character kind of take over. We saw him do that in Las Vegas. I'm one of the few guys who I'm a big endorser of Las Vegas. I really enjoyed that film. And this feels the same way. It just feels like he's not trying to do comedy. It feels like he's just inhabiting this character who is in this situation and let the comedy come out. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that's the way it plays out because it's been effective for me so far. 